Well, good evening. We have another night that is going to be probably as cold as uh, last night in many locations. These uh, were the numbers where uh, the wind chill was this morning. These were the numbers where uh, it was the coldest. 47 below was the coldest wind chill reading. This was at 4 a.m. this morning. Granite Falls, 40 below Appleton, 40 below in Benson, 31 below even here in Lakeville in the city, 34 below Owatonna, and 30, 26 below in Lake Elmo. So. We're heading in, in that direction, or at least toward that direction again tonight. The windchill advisories are posted. Currently, we have a windchill of 16 below. It feels like 26 below for our friends in Redwood Falls and 10 below in Grand Rapids. It's a little warmer there today along the northeast portion of the state. Windchill advisory blanketing the upper Midwest, um, most of uh, the north, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. We made it up to a measly 3 degrees today, a cold one, 10 below. Uh, we started out this morning. We're going to be just a degree or two warmer than that. Tomorrow we'll start out at 722 at 8 below. But this is the good news. We only have two more days of this tomorrow and Thursday. Then things get quite a bit better by the time we get to Friday. Saturday and Sunday are going to feel balmy as we get into this very mild westerly flow. As you see there on Saturday, the yellows coming closer to us, the purples retreating. That is good, good news. So a couple more cold days. Big storm system rolls out of the Rockies into northern Texas and uh, Missouri. And here comes the Pacific air to warm us up just in time for the weekend. We'll start out at 8 below tomorrow morning, 12 below for our friends in St. Cloud, 10 below in Mankato. We'll warm to 8 during the day, single digits statewide. Clear skies, a little sliver of a moon tonight, 8 below, 8 above tomorrow. Winds out of the west, and then there's... Another cold day Thursday, warming up with flurries on Friday, 34 Saturday, 37 on Sunday. watching the twins